morning guys good morning and welcome back to the channel so apparently i've been really fond of haul videos lately so get ready for another one because i just got back from whole foods with the kids and um yeah we went grocery shopping shockingly all of this including lunch for us today that we picked out uh yeah was only like 200 dollars max it was crazy since we just went to Publix. I'll link that haul down below. Um, but we just spent like over $300 there for pretty much the same amount of food, maybe a little bit less, a few less snacks. But yeah, it was a lot better priced. I don't know what Whole Foods is doing. Their prices are like going down. They used to be like the most expensive, but now it just seems to be a little bit better. So anyway, let's get started with this haul and then I'm gonna go eat lunch new here. Go ahead and hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, if you don't mind. I appreciate it, but let's go. Before I start everything else, oop, got it on the counter. So we got some Milo sweet tea, cause Milo, our Milo, loves sweet tea, and he insisted that we needed, apparently, a gallon of sweet tea, as he says it. And then I also wanted to show you what we got the kids, or what I got the kids for lunch. So apparently at Whole Foods, they have these whoop, little like Lunchables that they do. And so Ivy chose the pepperoni pizza one. And then Daddy, Mom. Milo chose this Daddy, little Mommy. like, all right. And then Milo chose this one that has cheese cubes, grapes, crackers, and brownie. And then Penelope didn't want one of the Lunchables. So these were right beside it. It's their Asian noodles. So it's just got like sesame, soy sauce, and that's what she's gonna have for lunch. And then, um, yeah, let's unpack the rest of it. So let's start with the frozen stuff. So for a few dinners this week, I thought the easiest thing to do with them would be fries. So I got two bags of the Whole Foods brand crinkle cut fries. Then I got the Provencal blend with basil garlic sauce. It's just like bell peppers, eggplant, zucchini, and then a big bag of organic broccoli florets. And then we got some cheddar sour cream chips. Normally I like to get like the little baggies of chips for the kids, but I thought I'll get these and then I'll just pour them into bowls. I also got the family size bag of just the regular what they would call, I guess, the ruffle versions, but huge bag. And then I thought these looked so cool. They're like um, those cheddar balls that I know my kids always beg me for, and I don't think I've ever gotten them. But they're the Lesser Evil brand light fluffy organic corn puffs. They're space balls, and it's the Interstellar Cheddar. I just thought those looked so cool. I love the packaging on that. Definitely sold me. Um, they also had these in uh, like a cinnamon sugar. Then I got organic heavy cream, a brew doctor prickly pear kombucha, and then a brew doctor super berry kombucha. I got some almond creamer in the vanilla flavor, a little thing of organic lemon juice, got some organic crescent rolls, some more grated Parmesan cheese, Pizza blend cheese. Oh, wait, where's my other cheese? Oh, man. Oh, here it is. Silly me. Mexican style blend cheese. And then we have mild cheddar slices. And then I got the uncured beef bologna and the uncured Black Forest ham sandwiches. And then I also got their uncured beef hot dogs. This is a thing of pizza dough, which is over by like the um, quick food, quick grab food section, like in their pizza section. They actually just sell their pizza dough. So I got that for pizza night. And then we have whole wheat English muffins, some classic white sandwich bread, and then some sweet Hawaiian dinner roll. And then I got this zucchini and rapini wood fired pizza thought it looked really good to have when the kids have like regular pizza night what I got that dough for this is what I figured I'd make so I'm not having to focus on doing mine and the kids pizzas 
I'd just be able to just pop mine in the oven. Then I got, I think, five russet potatoes, a bag of yellow onions, a bag of avocados. Okay, we're kind of out of order. Um, a thing of mini cucumbers, because Milo loves mini cucumbers. A thing of organic, a bushel, bunch, what do they call A group <laughs> of bananas, of organic bananas. And then we got some more strawberries, because strawberries are in season right now, so they just have the absolute best flavor. It's like heavenly. And then I got these tomatoes to try to like cut up to put in a salad for me or something. They're Kamato tomatoes and it says they're simply unique brown. Oh, they look kind of cool from um, Canada. And then I don't know why I got lemons but I had it on my list so I got two lemons. I got a bag, or not a bag, uh, a romaine, a head of romaine lettuce. And then I got a bag of, I believe these are the Gala, Gala apples. Yes, the New Zealand ones again, I think. And then I got, instead of my precious brown and blue eggs, which they did not have at Whole Foods, I got Pete and Jerry's organic brown eggs. So it says organic feed, organic pastures. Ooh, I don't know this. Oh, yep, there it is. Free range, because that's... Those are my favorite, are free range eggs. But yeah, those are my eggs. And then I got some no salt added Italian vinaigrette. So I've been wanting that for a salad. Oh, I guess this kind of has to go over here. This is organic can of pizza yeah. sauce, which we've never tried this brand, but I always see it, so hopefully it's good. And then the kids have been wanting ice cream. So I got, Ivy doesn't like chocolate. So I picked out Milk Bar's Vanilla Sugar Cookie, which is vanilla flavored ice cream with swirls of sugar cookie and frosting for her as her treat. And then Penelope and Milo I thought would like this one. It's the Fish Food Ben and Jerry's. It's been around for like ever, but chocolate ice cream with gooey marshmallow swirls, caramel swirls, and fudge fish. And I I think that might be it. I mean, I kind of did like rapid fire. I guess it was significantly less. Oh, and then I forgot this. I got me this Mediterranean lunchbox square that's got like a falafel and pita, some tabbouleh hummus, and some donatus. That was a cute little quick lunch. And these were only like $6 or something. But yeah, I'm hungry, so I'm going to put all this away and then I think I'm gonna go eat. up <laughs> the kids lunches were kind of a hit or miss um, that's okay that happens um, but yeah Whole Foods I was shockingly pleased or shock yeah, whatever I was pleased with the price of all the groceries and the quality because I've noticed our commissary on base the produce is really just not great anymore or it goes bad really quickly so that's what I didn't want to go back to Publix because it just cost so darn much. I was like, no, let's go somewhere else. Normally, I like going shopping at Target, especially grocery shopping. I think they have the best prices. But our closest Target, it isn't a full Super Target and it doesn't have a full grocery section. So then I kind of had to nix that because I was like, oh, they might not have everything that I need, especially like their frozen section is a little lacking. So that's why I chose Whole Foods. It's about like eight miles away from us. 
and it's obviously the trendier store so I kind of am hesitant to bring my feral children there but everything went well everybody was really nice and thankfully I went in the morning before it got too crowded so I didn't have to worry about like it getting all jam-packed in there for us to go grocery shopping um because I hate feeling like I'm in the way and when you go grocery shopping at peak times and you have three kids it's like somebody's always in the way of somebody else that's trying to get something or trying to get by you so yeah it was like a really good grocery shopping morning we were gonna stop by crumble also to pick up some cookies but there was zero parking and since I already had the groceries in the back and then I'd have to get all three kids out I couldn't really park far away and then walk to it so that's all right everything happens for a reason um but yeah so hopefully you enjoyed this haul again and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!